All right, everyone. So in this video, we're going to talk about how I can find content for both ELA and math and push it out to my students uh, so that they have assignments ready and waiting for them. So in the first video, we talked about the overview uh, of the teacher's dashboard. Um, and as you can see here, I'm currently in my home section where you'll find yourself when you log in. Directly next to that, you've got a tab for find content. Okay, and as you click that, depending on uh, whether you're in your math class or your ELA class, you'll start to see different content assignable for students. So currently I'm in my, uh, my math class and you can see you might have multiple grade levels available uh, to you. So the next thing you'd like to do there or want to do is to make sure to find the grade level content that you intend to assign to your students, okay? And if you wanted to select a certain domain for your grade level, you could do that. So I'll start by clicking on operations and algebraic thinking. And if you wanted to trace that domain down to a specific skill, uh, you would do the same by scrolling down, finding the particular skill that you wanted to assign, uh, and you could also click on that. What I'm going to do um, to also point out the fact that you have other options is off to the side up here, it also says show all results for the domain. So essentially, if I click on that, I'm going to be pulling assignments for all of these standards, uh, these skills rather, that you see. So I'm going to click on that, show all results for domain. And here's where you have your four different types of assignments or uh, assessments or however you want to categorize them available to your students. So skill boosts, learning goals, lessons, and games. Okay, so first and foremost, skill boosts. Uh, for math specifically, there's over 2,000 different skill boost exercises for students. These are short in length. They're about five question exercises. Okay, they consist of uh, that, uh, excuse me, they're consistent exercises for all students, okay? And it's when we target a specific or single skill and can be used technically for a formative assessment or an exit ticket, okay? Moving on over to learning goals, which you can kind of see the banner here to remind you that it is your adaptive assignment. There are over 5,000 of these for math specifically. And these are personalized and adaptive practice uh, opportunities for students where they have multiple related skills that are targeted within that learning goal, okay? There are scaffolded hints, which you can see if you pop on over to uh, the student videos, a um, couple of those hints uh, will be, uh, an example will be provided for you, but they encourage student perseverance. So when we talk about that mindset piece, okay? And students will also get personalized feedback when they take exercises within these learning goals. And this is what we use to track uh, the student growth. Now, important to mention that because these are adaptive, depending on how a student does on a particular learning goal assignment, they may also be pushed out to them after the fact by the artificial intelligence one of your lessons, okay? But also realize that if you wanted to specifically assign lessons to students, you can kind of see that that is also possible here. For math, there are over 160 different types of lessons, okay? These are a way for us to introduce and or reinforce skills. Uh, as I said, these become auto-assigned when a student struggles in something that they've taken in a learning goal, okay? Um, as I mentioned, also can be assigned by a teacher and concludes with a five-item skill check, okay, to kind of check for that understanding, which is really nice to have. The last type of student practice that we have available are the games. Um, math has over 14 different games that the students can play. Uh, this is fun and unlimited and trackable practice for students. Uh, for math specifically, it focuses on fluency, okay? And basically, the next step would be 
figuring out what it is you'd like to assign, okay? And I also want to point out before I start selecting items that one of the things I like about Waggle is there's help and support for the teacher along the way as well. So if and when you find yourself in your teacher's account, realize you know by clicking on this which content should I assign piece, you'll also get some help and some support, or you can always reach out to one of your global solutions specialists. Um, let's just say, for example, I want to assign one of each of these types of practice pieces. So I, I went right across the top row here, assigning one skill boost, one learning goal, one lesson, and one game. Okay, off to the side, it's keeping track that I've uh, selected four different types of assignments. You also get a nice little reminder here as a teacher, uh, the difference between some of the things you're assigning, okay? And then right in the middle, assign students and dates. So if I click on that, I see the four different types of assignments. I would encourage you always to check the start and end dates. For example, three of these are starting today and they're given a week out for your due date, whereas my game is both start and end date for today. Okay, so if you want to change those, you can click on the update and switch those dates around. You can always delete if you made a mistake. Or uh, the other nice thing that I like to point out is this can go to an entire class. Or if I only want that lesson, for example, to go to one or two of my students, I can select those uh, two students or you know, however many you expect or want to have the particular assignment, you can click save and assign. And now it specifically tells me that two students out of that class roster are getting that one particular lesson. Whereas my other three are all, uh, the, the assignment's going to all of them. The last piece here would be to click the assign button, which would ultimately push that out to your students you get a little reminder that it may take a little while uh, for the students to actually receive that assignment. And in my next video, I'm going to head over to the track assignments tab uh, to talk a little bit about reports and things. That could be another way that you check to see that that assignment actually went through. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the HMH International Content Cares YouTube channel. If you're looking for more content, click on the video to the right of your screen. Welcome to our global community.